Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I just want to talk to you about Sam Harris and collaborative democracy. Sam Harris is an atheist and he talks about that we have got to realise that religious people are irrational and they're dangerous people and what we've got to do is make sure that they don't have any influence in society. Um, basically that kind of rhetoric is going to cause a polarisation within our cultures where the religious are alienated from our democratic process and you find that you find in that in America where there is a definite polarization between those uh, who are on the side of religion and those not on the side of religion and it's destructive um, to democracy what I think we should be doing is encouraging collaborative democracy and what I mean is is encouraging people at the grassroots level to work together on community projects so for example it could be in a ghetto in America or uh, a village or a town in France or, Amer or, or, or England or um, uh, a rundown area in, in Germany or wherever and basically what you do is you empower the local people the social workers, the community workers, the youth workers, uh, the youth of that community uh, to do projects to, to help the community so it might be like everybody gets together in the community to paint the fences of everybody's garden it might be everybody gets together to clean up the area by getting rid of the rubbish in the area etc what well, some community project like that and you empower the local people give them the resources and help them to do that and by doing that, uh, you help people to work together, get to know each other. So if if there are Muslims in an area or Sikhs in an area and, and they're doing that project together, they're going to learn to get on with each other. They're going to learn to understand each other. If it's a Jewish area and um, they they do the, the, the community projects and other people get to get involved, then people will get to know the Jewish people. Um, and it these kind of collaborative community projects help to break down uh, barriers and you know atheists and Christians and Jews and Muslims can be doing these cleaning up or uh, renovating their communities in some way it could be everybody gets together uh, in a local community uh, and does a cooperative um, uh, starts a cooperative allotment or a community education program project but you all get together you all work together and empower the local community I think this is the way forward uh, rather than demonizing each other so I put that across for those who are policy makers and uh, if you're a journalist or if you are someone of influence in the community maybe you could encourage this kind of way of thinking thank you for listening and take care